welcome back to the girly girl bookworm so as surprised as you are probably to have this video I am too um, I'm going to be doing another massive massive unhaul um, the more I look at my books the more I realize that there's definitely stuff that's been on my shelves for a very long time that I just have no interest in rereading or I really didn't like them in the first place but then I held on to them anyways and just books that I need to clear off so I can make space for books that I actually care about being on my shelves. So I've got another massive, massive unhaul. Um, all of these I have read, so that's the one nice thing that I feel like about my unhauls is every book I have given a chance to and I have read, so it's not like I'm giving wasting all this money because I've actually read them. Um, I'm getting rid of actually a lot of book of the month books, which I never thought I would do. I liked keeping a lot of my book of the month books because I felt like I spent more money on them, which in reality I didn't end up spending that much money on them because of the fact that they are kind of at a discounted price. And I just figured I'm not going to keep these books that I didn't like that whenever I look at I remember that I didn't like them. Um, so let's just get started. I have two complete series that I will be getting rid of, and I'm going to be getting rid of the Winner's Curse series. Um, I go through phases where I feel like I almost fake myself through fantasy, and I feel like I faked myself through the series. I thought it was an okay series, but at the end of the day, I don't really care too much about them. The one thing that is breaking my heart is that they are so gorgeous, and like they look so nice together, but I just... I don't think I would ever go back and reread them, so there's no point in keeping them on my shelf. Another same series that kind of goes with that is the Kiss of Deception series. Um, I recently finally read Beauty of Darkness after having it pre-ordered from the day it came out. I took like another three years to read it, so I know that I will never go back and actually reread this series. I found it to be okay, but I wasn't necessarily in love with it like everybody else was, so somebody at my local library will definitely be really excited to find this entire trilogy there, I feel like. Some book of the month books that I'm getting rid of, um, I'm getting rid of um, The Great Alone by Kristen Hanna. I did not like this book. I was the definitely like unpopular opinion with this series. Everybody loved it. I did not, so it's gonna go. Um, Rainbirds by Clarissa Gionin, Gion I don't know. Um, I read this book back over this, I'm trying to remember, I read this during a readathon, um, and it was like for the colorful stuff or something like that, or diverse read or something. I just remember reading it during that, and I read it during, with, a, as an audiobook, and I just, I didn't connect with it as much as I wanted to, and so I'm gonna get rid of it. Um, Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng. I totally missed the boat on this one. Everybody loved this one. I just thought it was okay. So I feel like somebody else will enjoy this one at my library. Um, Cross Her Heart by Sarah Pinborough. This one I ordered by accident thinking it was something else. And I didn't like Behind Her Eyes by this author. So I am definitely did not like this one. I also listened to this one on audio and I just, it needs to go. Some older ones that I can't even really remember what they were about, but I remember not enjoying them as much as I thought I would. Um, Swimming Lessons by Claire Fuller. Woman Number 17 by Eden Lupuki. I definitely thought this was going to be more of a thriller, and it definitely wasn't. And Dead Letters by Kate Dolan Leach. This um, had a lot of drinking issues, and normally when there's alcoholism and stuff like that, normally that triggers me into not wanting to continue, and I really didn't care for this one either. November Road by Lou Burney. I listened to this one as an audiobook and it was just okay. Um, Other People's Houses by Abby Waxman. I'm so sad because this cover is really fun and really cute but unfortunately it was not that great. Um, Fierce Kingdom by Jen Phillips. I was hoping that I was going to be the opposite opinion and actually love this book but I wasn't and I am like everybody else and did not like this one. And then the most recent one that I probably read was The Lies Be Told by Camilla Way. It was just okay. Nothing exciting. So it's going to go. And I know that other people have been loving it, so I'm, no, I'm sure somebody will definitely enjoy finding it. Um, then my other stack is, like, all YA novels. Because I feel like I've just been transitioning a lot away from my YA side. 
my adult sh books have been like slowly keep trickling over into my YA section and I just I have no interest in keeping them I'm not going to reread them so off they go so I'm getting rid of The Truth About Alice by Jennifer Mathieu I just I don't 100% remember what this is about I remember kind of liking it but I don't think I loved it as much as I wanted to um, The Missing Girl by Norma Fox Mazur Sadie by Courtney Summers I just did not care for it um, The Way I Used to Be by oh it's covered something Smith Amber Smith um, hard-hitting contemporary but didn't hit me hard if that makes sense. Some older ones, Slide by Jill Hathaway. I always told myself I was going to pick up the sequel and then never did. Same thing with Dueled by Elise Chapman. Um, A Girl Like That by Tanaz Bathina. I got this last year when we went to DC. I got a good chunk of the way through. I got 120 pages in, but I just didn't care for it. And every time I see it, I'm like, I know I need to go back and try it again. And every time I'm like, nah. So that's going to go... This is sad. Beauty and the Beast Lost in a Book by Jennifer Donnelly. I did not like this at all. I read this last year when we went to Disney and I was keeping it for sentimentality and the fact that I love Beauty and the Beast, but I did not care for this one at all. The Friday Society by Adrian Kress. I read this years ago, like before I met my husband years ago. Like I remember trying to find this book cheap and I remember like everything I went through trying to get this book and then I didn't really like it but I always kept it because the cover was so pretty and I remember everything that I went through to get it so I felt like it was me and not the book but it's the book so it needs to go. <laughs> Rebel Bell um, by Rachel Hawkins. I actually have this in an old unhaul but I like talked myself into keeping it because I enjoyed this one and I always said well I know everybody doesn't like the sequel and trilogy like the third book but maybe I will. No. Who am I faking? Who am I kidding? And I never picked up the other ones. So, like, it's so stupid to keep the first book if I'm not going to continue. Um, All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. I liked this book when I read it, but being further removed from it, I can't really remember it. I know it's going to be a movie, but I have no interest in seeing it, and I have no interest in rereading it, so that must be a sign right there that it's time for it to go. 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. I'm never going to reread this. I read it before the Netflix series. I read it kind of when it was still like kind of being hyped on YouTube, but I'm not going to reread that. Undead Girl Gang by Lily Anderson. I feel bad like getting rid of the like this one and like Sadie because I feel like I just got these, but I just, I didn't care for this. I'm not going to reread it. Even though it's pretty, I don't want it. Um, I did a try a chapter tag for the boy most likely to and I kind of liked it but then I was like not really interested I really didn't like what I thought was true and then I figured if I'm gonna get rid of these two my life next door might as well go as well even though I did enjoy this one I remember reading it by the pool at our apartments right before we got married and it was fun but I just not gonna keep it I'm gonna get rid of once and for all by Sarah Dessen I enjoyed it when I read it, but it was just one of those contemporaries that I could just leave it. I don't need it. Um, and then the last book, I decided that I'm just going to part with it now, and that is This Lie Will Kill You by Chelsea Pitcher. I just I just got this. I just read it. I just hated it, so I don't want to see it on my show. So yeah, those are all the books that I'm unhauling. I know it's a lot. I did not anticipate this coming. But I think that it will definitely be really good. I need to now go back and reorganize my shelves because I definitely left a lot of holes behind. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys really soon. Bye everybody.